Hi everybody, this is Yuri from Sure, and I'm here with Biol Kim. Hi everyone. And Dan Chu. Say hi. <laughs> and today we're going to show you how to record piano with the Sure MVDA Plus stereo USB microphone. Let's go. The piano is a notoriously challenging instrument to record. Modern pianos have thousands of moving parts and can play as quiet as a whisper and as loud as a scream. Like with other string instruments, the vibration of the strings are transferred through a bridge to a wooden soundboard below. The vibration of the soundboard and of the entire instrument is the bulk of the sound that you hear. The sound then rises up to bounce off the lid and projects outwards towards the audience. Because of the size and complexity of the piano, solo pianists are almost always recorded in stereo with two microphones. The MV88 Plus is a stereo microphone, which greatly simplifies this entire process. Since the piano is such a complicated instrument, there are dozens of different ways to record it. I'm going to focus on the two most common ways, the ones you'll see mostly in the studios, and a different method that you'll see mostly in the classical world. The most common piano miking method you'll see in studios is using two cardioid microphones placed inside the piano. What you'll often see is one microphone down here by the low strings pointing at the hammers, and you'll see a second microphone up here by the high strings also pointing roughly where the hammers of the piano are. Now you want to be careful how close you place them because if you're too close to the hammers, you're going to hear a lot of percussive sounds and all sorts of other mechanical sounds from the instrument. On the other hand, if you go up too high, you're going to be very, very close to the lid of the piano and you're going to hear a lot of weird reflections and all sorts of phase things that you don't want to hear. So most people put the microphones a little bit, I don't know, maybe about a foot or two. Uh, or a foot and a half above the hammers. Again, the actual distance will just depend on what you hear and how it sounds, and it definitely depends on which microphones you use and the instrument itself. Because the MV88 Plus is a stereo microphone, I can just put one microphone inside the piano and get the entire stereo field. So normally I would put the microphone probably somewhere around here. Uh, I don't know exactly where yet because I haven't listened to it, but I will probably adjust it based on what I hear. Uh, but you want to make sure that you have a width of about 90 degrees or more uh, on the microphone because you want to pick up both the low strings and the high strings of the piano. The second common technique for recording piano comes from the classical world. And in this case, you want to put the microphones a little bit further away from the piano so that you're picking up roughly the sound that you would hear in the audience. In this technique, we take two microphones and put them outside of the piano, usually roughly where the lip of the piano is and pointing directly in. So we'll put one microphone maybe over here on the left side, somewhere around here, and then we'll put the second microphone over here on the right side, directly pointing into the piano. Now, as far as how high they go, it really is up to personal taste. I've recorded things where I'm down here. I've also recorded things where my microphone is up here. It really just depends on the sound. And a lot of times people will move a little bit further back from the piano and they'll record it maybe three feet or even four feet away. Now let's listen to these microphone techniques in different positions so we can hear what they sound like. So now we're ready to record. So Biel, do you want to say anything about this piece? Yes, I'll be playing Chopin Etude Opus 25 number 6, which is known to be one of the most hardest etudes by Chopin because it requires pianists to use three, four, five fingers, which are really not independent fingers. And there are also a lot of interesting musical materials in this piece, so I can't wait to share it. 